Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Glockheim or Valheim, whatever, who gives a shit, right? Check this out, I crafted a portal last night, now we just have to craft another portal wherever we want to fast travel to, which I actually have everything on me to craft a second portal. I also have everything on me to craft a boat. I also have three ancient seeds to spawn in the Elder, a hundred flaming arrows, bronze armor, bronze weapons and tools, so we are ready to go. Let's get a move on this morning. Check this out also, I started building a uh, spiked wall that I obviously need to continue building around the entire base. Also crafted this cart, which, oh my god, this helps so much when gathering resources like copper and shit. Um, so that helped a lot. But anyway, let's get a move on. Today we are going to fight the Elder. And to do that, we're going to have to kind of set up a little base here maybe. Or at least build a boat right there. And uh, so we can set sail to the Elder's Island. So let's do it. go let's raise the sail and let's mark the boat on the map so we don't forget where we parked Here we go just call it boat stay there boat I spotted a little stone building up here let's go check that out first then we'll start heading towards the elder icon let's see what we got in here oh shit brute uh Getting some weird camera angles. Go ahead, attack. Come on. Hit me. Oh. Come on. Oh. Damn it. There we go. I blocked, but I'm, I didn't parry. There's the parry. All right. Now we're cooking. Oh, I'm out of here. Getting my ass kicked. Listen, you don't become the greatest Viking that ever lived overnight. It takes time. Ah, there we go. All that for nothing. Except for what the guy dropped. There's nothing in here. Unless there's something hidden under the floor. But I don't got time for that shit. Maybe we'll check it later. Let's just keep it moving here. We want to start heading uh, towards the Elder. Oh, look at this. We got the, uh, the traitor is right down here. That's good. I didn't bring my coin or rubies or anything to sell the traitor, so... Uh, not gonna go see him right now. Let's just continue on towards the Elder. I'm gonna grab this thistle real quick. I'm not sure what we're gonna need this for moving forward, but I've heard a lot of people say, uh, just grab it when you see it because you're gonna need it. Here's some copper. Let's mark this on the map. Here we go. Well, this is the water line right here. Shit. I think we're on the wrong island. Damn it, this is all your fault, you gray bastards. Oh man, look at this sword as a beast. A lot of people were telling me to craft the mace, but I went with the sword instead. Anyway, we gotta get back to the boat. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. At least we found the traitor. Sure did pick a great day to go fucking sailing, didn't I? We gotta be in the right place now. Elder is not far away. So here's the plan. Let's go defeat the Elder. Then we're gonna get back on the boat and sail back to the island where the trader is. And that's where we're gonna set up an outpost and build our portal. This way we can fast travel back home, get all the stuff we want to sell to the trader, and then fast travel back to the trader's island. Because this island that we're on now, the Elder's Island, it's not far from the trader's island at all. 
So this way we'll be able to fast travel, travel from our homeland to the trader's island, and then we can always either set up another portal for this island, or just sail here when we want to. Yeah, there's the parry, you bitch. See, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Oh, problem is I always, I always attack when they're attacking. I guess the secret is wait for them to attack first. Just too impatient for that shit. All right, here we are. Now I got the ancient seeds in slot number one of my tool belt, so we just go up to this fire, press one, and drop them in, but uh, should probably take care of this gray first. Not trying to fight him and the elder at the same time. Come here, you bitch. All right, here we go. This guy's not so bad. You just have to have patience with him. Which I know I just said I don't have any of that, but... I'll channel as much patience as I can to get us through this battle. And I'm just gonna use fire arrows on his ass. He's a big giant tree, so... Obviously you wanna use fire arrows. It sets him on fire, does some more damage. See, when he throws that shit, you just wanna make sure you're hiding behind one of these pillars. And he can't get you. At some point here, he's gonna raise tentacles out of the ground right now. And uh, we just wanna keep it moving. You don't want to be around these things, because they'll do some damage to you. And it's pretty easy. I know there are ways to, like, cheese these bosses. You can put campfires down on the ground and light them up, so when he walks over them, he gets set on fire. You can dig tunnels underneath this, like, stone foundation right here and hide from them. But that's all lame shit, man. I'm just gonna have a battle here. Why would I fucking want to cheese this guy? Like, why are you playing a game that's based around boss fights if you're just gonna cheese every boss you fight. I mean, I guess I get it if it's your second time around, you know, if you've already fought this guy and you're fighting him again just because you want the extra trophy to hang in your house, then, you know, do what you gotta do. But this is our first battle with him, so I'm gonna do it legit. As legit as I know how to, anyway. Um, let's run. There, there definitely is a tactic to use melee on this guy, though. Uh, if you get close to him, he does like a ground and pound thing, and if you time it right, I think you can uh, use melee on him. But what the hell, I'm gonna use these fire arrows, it's working fine. Maybe we'll finish him off with melee once we get a good amount of damage done here. Uh, Alright, let's move. Might as well keep it moving. The tentacles, they do... They, you, I think you can kill the tentacles, but uh, why even bother? We'll just move as, as he raises them up. Hide behind another pillar, and shoot him in the dick like that. Oh, son of a bitch. Here come a whole bunch of greys. Alright, at least they're the standard. Grey dwarf, they're pretty easy. If, like, a brute showed up with the, the, with the healer, that's when it becomes a big pain in the ass. Oh, shit. Come on. Fucking stamina. No, he's gonna throw his vines. No, not good. Get out of here. One more. Dead. All right. All right, how are we looking on arrows? 67. Hopefully that gets us there. If not, then we'll switch over to melee. Oh, shit, that hurt. Let's try not to do that again. Oh, damn it. Wait. Alright, I might be able to stay right here and avoid getting hit. Yeah, I don't think the uh, tentacles can get to me right here. Oh, he can, though. Shit, damn it. This is not a good place to be. All right, let's move. Oh, how'd you like that, buddy? That gives a whole new meaning to the term fire crotch. Oh, all right. We've got just about full health, and he's got just about none. Finish him with the sword. Yeah, take his ankles out. And that's it. Not too bad. 
You gonna disappear, buddy? Give me your trophy. There we go. Can't see shit. There's the trophy, and we also get the swamp key. Which will get us into uh, caves, I believe, in the swamp. Now, swamp is a place I have never explored before, so basically from here on out, it's all new to me. Now let's get over to the boat, and uh, we're going to take... Wait, let me mark this elder off, too. Um, yeah, let's get over to the boat and take the boat back to the island where the trader is. And we're going to explore that island a little bit, find a place to build, and we'll build ourselves like a little outpost on that island. And we'll also build a portal so we can fast travel back home from there. Alright, I don't know why, I'm just realizing it now, I don't know why I parked on this side of the island. I was thinking in my head that we're going to take the boat back home, but we're not going to. We're going to fast travel back home. The boat we're going to use to take back to the Elder's Island. But whatever, what does it matter, right? I want to build one of those better boats anyway. The one that actually looks like a ship, and not like something fucking Tom Hanks from Castaway built. Well, here's the traitor. In his little bubble. Bubble Boy the Trader. Oh, look at this thing. A giant moose. Or like a fucked up, uh, Snuffleupagus. Be nice if we can ride that thing. Raja Daja Daj. That's his name. Um, I got nothing to sell him. So we'll have to come back. Like I said, we'll fast travel back home, grab our coin, rubies. Whatever else we can sell, the, the pearls, right? The amber pearls, I think. We can also sell them. Let's mark this copper on the map. There we go. And let's keep looking around for a place to build. So far, all I'm seeing is black forest, which is fine. That just means uh, caves and copper. And uh, that's what we need. We need to explore more caves because I'm about to use pretty much the rest of our cores to build this second portal. And we need more cores so we can build... Uh, more smelters, and uh, another charcoal kiln, and we got the snow biome over here. We don't want to go there, though, because we'll start to freeze to death. I don't know what you need to craft to be able to go into the snow biome without freezing to death. I'm assuming some sort of fur armor or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know. All I know is uh, we got to find the swamp, because that's the next place we need to explore. Come here, take a swing at me. Oh, yeah, suck on that. Ow. Dead. Let's take this thing out. Which will get us another ancient seed, which I don't know if there's another use for them. Other than, uh, you know, if we want to spawn in another elder. And, and fight another one for the extra trophy, like I was saying earlier. Uh, this could be a decent place to build. It's really close by the trader. But, uh, let's look around a little more first. See ya! Anything of interest in here? No? Alright. I was able to see the top of those steps. There's no chest up there. Uh, I got some more copper right here, though. Let's get this marked on the map. There we go. Maybe it would be best to build on the shoreline that's adjacent to the Elder's Island. You know, this way we can build a boat over there. This way we can travel from this island to the Elder's Island if we want to uh, relatively quickly. Got a cave right here. Let's kill the skeletons protecting it, and then we'll get it marked on the map. Come on, get out of here with your bony asses. I ain't got time for your shit. Man, stamina sucks. There's got to be potions we can craft at some point. I know there's a health potion. Someone mentioned it. So there's got to be a stamina potion. I'm going to drop the dandelions and take the bones. I have no idea what's involved with crafting potions or better food or any of that stuff. That's something I should probably look into. Got a cave right there. We'll be back to explore that at some point. Let's keep moving towards the uh, east side of this island. Got some more copper over here. Nice. A lot of copper on this island so far. 
Definitely going to want to build a smelter. Now, I understand you can't bring ore through the portals. But if you smelt the ore down into bars, can you bring those through the portal? I don't know. Uh, we're going to have to find out, though. Look at this. More copper. Holy shit. There we go. Anything here? I don't see anything. All right. Let's go. Oh, another cave right here. That's good. Let's get that marked on the map so far. Two caves and a whole bunch of copper. Very nice. Here's another skeleton. Two more skeletons. So basically, we want to go explore those caves, try and get enough cores to build ourselves a smelter, start smelting down all the copper on this island. And like I said, if we can bring those bars through the portal, great. If not, then we'll just store them over here. Man, I feel like we're going to be bothered pretty often living here. I mean, it's not like this is our main home. It's just an outpost. So, not a big deal. Plus, we'll build some defenses around this place at some point. There's a workbench, and now let's build the portal. Here we go. Now, we need to... Uh, oh, god damn it. Okay, now we need to enter in a tag for this portal. It has to be the same tag as the portal we want to travel to, which is home. And now what? Oh, there we go. Is that it? Is it connected? I guess so. The spinning anus must be the animation we see as we're traveling. There we go. Look at that. We're back home. How sweet is that? Our first portal travel. So now we can fast travel back to this island. I didn't mark it on the map. I will when we go back there. And we can go mine all the copper, explore the caves over here, fast travel back home, drop off all of our shit, except for the ore, of course. We can't bring that through the portal. But again, I'm not sure if we can bring the metal bars or the ingots or whatever you want to call them through the portal or not. I'll have to find out. But, um... I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I'm going to get all this inventory sorted and put away. And uh, in the coming episodes, we're going to go back to the trader's island. We're going to go visit the trader, do some dealings with that guy. We're going to explore the caves over there, mine some copper, and we need to find the swamps. That's the next big thing. Use this swamp key, go explore that place, unlock new recipes, fight another boss. And uh, after that, I don't know where the journey is going to take us, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Valheim, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.